Hello team, I want to talk to you a little bit today about us setting up and preparing for our final examinations if you are part of the group that are is to do final exams. Um, we will be doing majority of our exams through our Schoolology accounts. So I'm going to show you exactly where you're going to go and add materials you have at test or quiz and underneath that you have add assessment. We all will be utilizing the add assessment portion of what we are trying to do for the finals. It's very unique in its setup for what we need to do. So I'm gonna put final exam for professional development in this case. For you, you're going to put the final exam for your course. Um, you're going to put the due date, which I have already sent out in the calendar of when your exam is due and the time. And I also put that down as well that the time that it must be completed by will be 11 p.m. Submissions at this time are disabled. What happens is when you're creating the exam, you want to keep it disabled. You're going to enable this at 8 a.m. Therefore, it can be um, access to the students then. So you can create the assessment with no one seeing it. You're going to put category. Um, the category is going to stay blank because you're going to click set as final midterm. And if you notice there, it says no grading period and it sits it there. It's going to put that grade in a different location. Your scale is numeric. Your options to publish to students, um, grade status dis disabled, um, all of this here. Then you're going to go ahead and create your exam. So this is the exam that right now you're working in and you are creating. You must be have vivid instructions. We're going to go ahead and set the assessment settings. The assessment has a time limit. The answer is yes. Um, it will be 200 minutes, which is basically three hours, which means that students have to know that once they start the exam, they cannot pause and come back. Once they start the exam, they must sit there for the duration to finish it. Assessment questions are randomly ordered. Yes. Show possible po points for each question during the attempt. No. Assessment bar, students can flag the test um, questions for review. Yes, that means if they have a question, it's going to notify them that they want to go back. Students can eliminate answer choices. Yes. Students can use calculator during a temp. You are going to put yes, basic, or yes, scientific if you're math, because it then will give a calculator. It looks just like map testing. Students can use a ruler. Yes, and you'll do the centimeters. You students can use a protractor if it calls for that. Yes. Students can highlight text. Yes. Students can use a notepad. Yes. Students are allowed to view results after an attempt is submitted. We are putting no um, because we don't want them knowing the answers um, immediately. Number of attempts students can submit. We are going to do one time. In your instructions for 6 through 12, you want the students to be able to text their DLL that they are starting. If they have any technical problems during that three hours, they need to notify their DLL immediately and the DLL will then reach out to the teacher on if they need to do anything to fix it, if they have technical problems. So you need to put that into the instructions. And where can the students notify if they have a technical problem? You will save it. And then now you will go into adding questions. This is where you create your assessment. We are not using true and false. This is an end of term exam. So you are able to utilize a lot of the other ones. Also know that you have audio and video. So you can put video into here. You can put audio in here and your students can do almost the same with the response. These are all of your question types that you're able to do math, short, able, label, answer, label, image, um, you need to make sure that there is a variety of at least three different type of questions available. Please do not do an all multiple choice test. Please do not do an all short answer essay test. Um, please make sure there's at least, once again, as I said, three different availabilities. Your um, 
your HOD will be able to preview the exam um, so you don't have to do a physical submission once it's finished they can preview it and see what it looks like so it can be checked um, so this is us creating our assessments in Schoolology there is a Schoolology resource page um, I can't remember where to find it assessments it's not here it's in the help but you're able to find an entire um, entire help desk where's the help desk regarding this piece oh go down to s for schoolology and this your help center and then you can look at a guide to schoolology assessments um, and all of those things so you can turn around and get information on how to do all of this so that is us creating our assessments for our final exams please note we are still learning this system and practicing with this system so you do need to go in and start practicing and learning and figuring out how to utilize the system thank you so very much and i look forward to talking to you later